Hi everyone and welcome back to Beverly Stunning Creations. This is part two of my Christmas series DIYs. This DIY can be personalized for anyone so it makes the perfect Christmas gift. This design is one of many that can be used to personalize your box. Stay tuned as I give you a few more ideas on how you can design yours. For this DIY, I'm using four of these signs that I picked up at Dollar Tree. To get started, I removed the packaging from all four signs. I used a utility knife to remove the glass from the frames by cutting the rubbery strip of glue away. I removed the glass from all four frames. Next I glued three of the frames together in the same direction. Here's where I should have added a piece of foam board at the bottom before gluing them together. You'll see how I fix that later. I made sure that I lined up all three pieces evenly. I strengthened the box by adding hot glue to the seams. I applied the glue to the underside of the box as well. Now I'll let the Gorilla Glue set up for a while. Now that the glue has set up, I'll paint the entire box and the single frame with silver spray paint. I started decorating the single frame, which will be my lid with some mirror tiles. I'm using regular mirror tiles like these gold ones from Dollar Tree. I put a single roll of tiles around the entire frame. Next I'll add bling wrap on both sides of the mirror tiles. I'll decorate each side of the frame the same way. I also glued two rolls of bling wrap on top of the lid. I decorated the bottom of the box to match the top. I used two rows of mirror tiles in the center and five rows of bling above and below it. Here I spreaded some of the Dollar Tree Fix All on and then glued the bling on top of it. Again, I decorated each side the same way. Next, I'll remove the lettering from this glass with nail polish remover. I wiped the glasses a second time with the nail polish remover, then cleaned them with glass cleaner. Next, I traced the glass onto the foam board and cut out three pieces the same size. I trimmed the excess paper off of the foam board. I mentioned putting a piece of foam board in the bottom of the box earlier, so do this ahead of gluing the boxes together. Since I've already put the box together, I'll have to slide the foam board into place now. Now that the bottom is in place, I'll secure it with hot glue. I press the paper down until the hot glue set up. I'll add more hot glue to the bottom as well. 
I'll get back to this later. Here's a few ideas on how to design the lid. You can use a decorative piece of paper or a bag. This is a bag that I purchased from Dollar Tree. I inserted one sheet of glass into the frame, followed by decorative paper and another sheet of glass to give you an idea of how it will look. Here's another decorative bag from Dollar Tree. You can even use photographs, sheet music, a written poem, pretty much anything that you can think of that will fit into the space. This is why I love this DIY so much. As for me, I'm going to create a bling Paris skyline in this one. This would be a Christmas gift for my daughter because she loves anything that's Paris themed. I taped the glass onto the frame, then created my skyline on top of the glass. I'm not going to show the whole process, but I will insert a link to a video showing you exactly how to create a skyline on glass. I'm only going to create part of the skyline that's on this picture, but I'm going to do that off camera. But again, I will insert a link to a video that will show you how to do it. I always keep my scrap pieces of bling and I'll be using it to create my skyline. Again, I'm going to freehand this off camera and then I'll come back after it's done. I'm done with my Paris bling skyline and my daughter is going to absolutely love it. Now I'll have to decide on the background for my skyline. Again, here's another chance to add the decorative paper in the background. Pink is her favorite color, so this will work out, but I'm going to use a mirror background instead. I'm cutting this Dollar Tree tray to make a mirror background for my picture. I trace one of the sheets of glass onto it with a utility knife and then cut it out. I also trace the glass onto this piece of felt and then cut it out as well. I checked the fit and then glued it on top of the foam board. I made sure that the felt was flat and then let it dry. Now I'm going to put the lid together. I clean both sides of each glass. I then flip the frame upside down, then put on some clear Gorilla Glue inside the edge of the frame. Next, I place the clear glass inside the frame. I then use the popsicle stick to push it down to avoid fingerprints. To avoid the top glass from sitting directly on top of the design glass, I put a small dot of hot glue on the top of the glass in each corner. I let the hot glue dry completely before adding my decorative glass. I also removed all glue webs before adding my decorative glass. The mirror piece went in next, followed by one of the pieces of the foam board. I pressed the foam board in place and then hot glued it down. I continued to hold the foam board in place until the hot glue set up. Now I'm going to stack a second piece of foam board on top of the first piece. This will help keep the lid in place when it's sitting on top of the box. I put hot glue on the bottom piece, made sure that both pieces were lined up, and then held them together until the glue set up. Now I'll test the lid to make sure that it stays in place. Perfect. Just what I was looking for. I'm going to decorate the inside of my lid to give it a more finished look. 
Again, I could use this paper from Dollar Tree, but I chose to use a decorative sheet from Michaels instead. You could also line the inside of the box with paper or foam board. Before finishing up my box, I decided to add some mirror towels just inside the top of the lid. Repeat on the remaining three sides. I felt like the lid needed something else, so I added the word Paris. I simply peeled the letters off and stuck them onto the glass. I think adding the letters gave it the look that I was looking for. Now I'll glue the decorative paper to the back of the lid. Again, I traced the glass onto the paper and then cut the shape out. I then removed the top layer of paper from the foam board and then glue the decorative paper on with Mod Podge. I flipped the lid over for added pressure and then let it dry. Okay everyone, this completes my DIY and I hope you all enjoyed it and hopefully it gave you an idea on how to create a special box for someone in your life this holiday season. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.